Welcome to the Tolkien Collector's Guide YouTube channel, where we gather experts from around the world to discuss Tolkien's books and the people who read them. I'm Guru Loke, and with me are Trotter and Mr. Andre. We're here to talk about the Tolkien Collector's Guide's new forum subsection for the Rings of Power. Why is a collecting site talking about an upcoming Amazon show. I think it's pretty obvious that there's going to be a huge impact of this show on collecting. I mean, we've already seen book covers coming out that have uh, the, the show character posters on them. Uh, I'm sure there will be merchandising of some sort or another. Uh, there will be a, a large shift in fandom as new people suddenly discover Tolkien from this show who haven't read the books before. We saw the same things when the movies came out 20 years ago or so. Um, so, so there is some connection to collecting that I think is important. That's one of the reasons um, uh, I think it's there, but in a much larger sense, uh, I feel personally that the conversations around what's happening in fandom today uh, outside of just collecting, uh, is taking place mostly on social media. I have uh, a pretty strong presence on Twitter. I'm there a lot. I'm talking about non-collecting things quite often with people. I'm talking about lore. I'm talking about the show. Uh, same thing on Facebook, and there's Reddit groups and TikTok. Uh, all of these are fantastic ways for people to share, but they're very ephemeral. It's very hard to find a conversation from a week ago uh, on any of these social media sites. They tend to come and go. Uh, I really wanted to have a place myself where uh, it was well-organized, well-moderated, uh, a community of uh, people who've been around each other uh, and is growing uh, but it's existed for a long time, and it is uh, a stable environment. It's a safe space for people to talk critically and enthusiastically about this topic. So it's not just collecting, but it's uh, it's interesting to me as well because I love Tolkien. I love his books, but I'm very interested to see what's going to happen with this show. So it's a bit of an experiment as well. Can we expand the forums beyond just collecting and continue to have the the rigorous conversations that we have? Uh, so what do you guys think? What do you, how do you feel about this? Well, I, I think that uh, the, the the forums, for me, is, is quite a good way to, to actually deal with something like the, the Rings of Power. One of the problems that you have with, say, Twitter or Reddit or Facebook is someone will ask a question, and then a couple of days later it's gone off the list, and then someone will ask the same question again, and then a couple of days later. And so... It, Whereas with forums, you can actually um, you can actually make a topic. You can we can sticky them. We can put topics at the top that are that are that are, that, are, that we think are important. People can go in and without asking the same question again, they can actually already have a look and see, and then they can contribute towards that discussion as opposed to starting a completely new discussion on exactly the same thing that somebody else has been talking about uh, a few days beforehand. And I think it actually gives you a, a, a better experience, really, uh, for talking about this. Um, we've started it now because we're gearing up for the, the, the show to launch. So obviously we're expecting um, a, a, a huge amount of uh, stuff to be coming when the series is actually on the television and, and the, the month, say, beforehand. But we want to try and get get the framework in and get people to be aware of the, uh, the that, that forums there to get them signed up to get them to be comfortable coming on, onto the site and, and knowing what sort of things are, go are going to be on there for, for you to look at. And I I think that also Jeremy's done a great job with the uh, the collectors guide forums, and I think it's a waste just to really just use them. For what we've got at the moment, we can use the same uh, excellent forum software that he's developed for, uh, uh, for for other areas. And Rings of Power is a very topical one to do at the moment. Yeah, I think that uh, if you want to bring it back to what the site is originally intended for, and it's it's collecting Tolkien books and, and other Tolkien, just other Tolkien in general, um, the Amazon show, there's going to be a lot of new things to collect. And that was, I think that's kind of what started the conversation uh, uh, months ago was that we knew that there was going to be a lot of new 
token things that were going to be put into the marketplace. And there's going to be a lot of new new people that want to collect Tolkien. And we thought that the best way to go about having because we have a we have a store in the site where you, we have most of the most of the Tolkien titles that are in English, which we're working on other languages too. But for right now, it's mostly English, and we thought that we would separate uh, the listings in the store into an Amazon specific uh, uh, part of the store. And I think that sort of started the conversation to well, we should have a a forum that's directly related to the Amazon show because if we have things in the store directly related to all the new Amazon merchandise that are going to, be, going to be coming out, which is very controversial. Some people really like it, but some people really don't like it. But there's a large number of uh, collectors who are going to want to get all of the te television tie-in books and television tie-in things, just like there were during the Jackson films. I know that Jeremy's got a lot of movie tie-in stuff. I know he's got a lot of posters from that time period. There's going to be posters that people are going to want. Uh, from this. So it's it's important that we are able to organize the site in a way that people who want to come to the site specifically for the Rings of Power are able to use it, and people who don't want to use the site for the Rings of Power are able to use the traditional features of the site. So the site is very organized in that way. I, I think it's going to, I think it's a really nice experience, and it's not as chaotic as something like Twitter or something like Facebook, where things seem to be kind of thrown at you all the time, and then they go away and you never see them again. Yeah, it's been important in, in my mind to structure this where, you know, we're always trying to make it easier to find things. Um, it's important to be able to ignore or mute things you're not interested in uh, and really customize the experience of the site and the forums and the community to, to meet everyone's needs. I, there, there's clearly uh, a contingent of people who are very excited about the show and just as clearly people who really want to stop hearing about it and have no interest in it at all. And so the forums are really structured so that you can do one or the other or both uh, based on, on your preferences and, and, and change those as time goes on. So uh, it's uh, we, we've had a little bit of discussion around the Rings of Power uh, for years now. I mean, since the, uh, the announcement of the deal, uh, we chatted about a little bit back four years ago, five years ago now, we talked about the maps when Amazon did the, the series of, of, of maps that came out. Amazon actually uh, read one of my posts on the Compass Rose and made a change because they had an error in the maps and they went back and fixed it. So uh, it, it, Rings of Power and, and Tolkien Collector's Guide have had a, a, a good relationship for you know the, the last five years or so we're just trying to make it uh, easier to use and easier to find and, and easier to separate those conversations around that from everything else that we talk about on the site we've moved those posts actually into the rings of power area as well so if people are interested in looking at some of the stuff because they some people might not be aware of the uh, the, the compass rose. It was very interesting, actually, uh, to look at that. And the fact that there were some yeah, well, stakes on it was fascinating as well. <laughs> but they were well, like one of the great One of the great things about the site like, that uh, you can do as a user is that it, it, conversations are much more structured. So you know what's going to be discussed where you you can read what the what the forum title is and you kind of have already have an idea when you click on it and you go into it what's going to be discussed as opposed to something like a facebook group where you kind of you click on the facebook group and you go in and it's just a bunch of it's whatever people decided to put up and there's no sort of organization it's just a stream of some kind of random topics uh so you you really have a lot more choice with the site than you do for something like twitter or facebook you can control your experience a lot better, I think. And, and uh, I have, a, you know, an, a secondary purpose in this. I want to turn show fans into book lovers and collectors. You oh. know, it's... Uh, we all do. Nefarious, <laughs> Jeremy, nefarious. Come, come for the, the shiny, glossy TV show related conversations, but... Um, but read and, talking books. Exactly. Have you seen that? Can I, can I interest you in some quarter-bound leather books? <laughs> <laughs> There's some... <laughs> There's a whole wide world out there that uh, these show fans, I'm very hopeful, will will learn about and grow into and yeah. discover. 
Well, you can, buy, you can buy some books with uh, with covers from the TV series, and then you can buy all the other books as well. <laughs> <Talking> yeah. <laughs> Yep, I'm sure I think, Harper Collins would love that. Exactly. <laughs> the the, uh, the topic of which version of the Lord of the Rings should I buy is Ooh, perennial. That's, <laughs> you know, that yes. is. Um, I think I see that four times a day on social media. Exactly. Exactly. So so we we have our opinions. They're very strong. Uh, they don't always agree with each other. But being able to find once you've been told. Uh, what your choices are and you've decided what you're looking for. I think the Tolkien Collector's Guide is a preeminent place to actually be able to go out and find those books that you're looking for. It's the only place. It is the only place. Yeah. 